Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to fix this error that is Windows cannot find Microsoft security app.exe. And if you want to get rid of it, then please follow the steps shown in this video. Now to fix it, the first step is to copy this link. The link is provided in the video description. Open this link in a browser. It will take you to Microsoft website. And over here, you will see install option to install Microsoft Defender. So this error is related to this Microsoft security app is related to this Microsoft Defender. So click on install, open Microsoft store. And if you see the install option over here, click on install. So if you see install, click on install and let the installation complete. And once the installation is complete, you can restart your computer. But make sure this is installed first. So here you can see it's installed now. Now once installed, restart the computer and you should not receive this error anymore. Now still you are receiving the error. In that case, you can run this command. This command is provided in the video description. In Windows 10, make a right click on start menu and then click on Windows Parcel Admin. So make sure that you open Windows Parcel as an administrator. So click on Windows Parcel Admin and then click on yes to allow. And then copy this command. This command is provided in the video description. So copy it. Paste it over here and then hit the enter. And now restart your computer and you should not receive the error anymore. So simply restart your computer after this and then check. Now, if you have Windows 11, in that case, make a right click on the start menu and then open terminal. Make sure that you click on terminal admin. You have to open terminal as an administrator. Click on it, click on yes to allow and then copy the same command. Copy this and then paste it over here, hit the enter key. Now once done, restart your computer. And after the system restart, you should not receive that. You should not receive this error anymore. Now after the system restart, once you have removed this using this command, if you want to reinstall this application, if you want to, if you don't want to, then you don't have to, but if you want to, then you can again open this link and click on install, click on open Microsoft store, and then you can install it if you want. And you should not receive this error anymore. So that'll be all. Thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel.